Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Audrey. And today I'm going to be doing just a little get ready with me hair, makeup, chit chat because I've had a few of y'all ask me about my hair. So we're just going to go over that today and do a little look for filming later on today. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to start with my hair. I've had quite a few of y'all ask me how I do my hair. It's really very simple. <laughs> there is nothing extravagant about how I do my hair. I literally just use a $15 curling iron and that's pretty much it. I don't really go too crazy with my hair just because I like what I like and I just do it the way I've always done it. So typically I don't blow dry my hair. I usually wash it the night before I go to bed and then when I get up in the morning it's this. So I don't wash my hair every single day because it's a little bit on the dry side. I use mostly Garnier products. I love the, um, the honey. It's a honey collection. I love that. It's the whole something. Honey collection. That's the one that I prefer because it's really good for my hair. So I went to bed last night and this is how I woke up. I don't have any product in it at all except for this one. I do use this. It's a little bit of a root lifter. So I have a lot of volume to my hair obviously, but it's really heavy. So the longer it gets, the more it pulls down. So I do like to use this on the roots just to give it a little bit of a lift. So usually what I'll do is I always have my hair parted on the side. I'll put up a picture somewhere in here. I was a teenager in the 90s. My hair was split, was right down the middle. I always had a middle part. That does not work for me anymore. <laughs> it, just, it does not work for my face shape at all. So I always just kind of wing it with the parts here. So I just take this front section and I will clip it up. I usually do this part last. So I'm just gonna clip that. Now, just so y'all know, I cut my hair myself, so if y'all see any wispies or little pieces that aren't quite perfect, don't judge me, because I just, I'd rather do it myself. I clip that piece up, and then, so then I have all of this back here, so then I'll usually just split it kind of in the middle and clip that part up too. That usually ends up being a really big part, so I'll probably split that in the middle once I start there. Okay, okay, so now I just have the back half at the bottom to do. So my curling iron, I've been seeing a lot of reviews about like these $400 and $500 curling irons, y'all. That is not in my budget, and two, what would I even do with that? So, <laughs> so I just have this little Conair one, y'all can see the label is rubbed off of it. I think this was like $15 at Walmart. We have them at work too. But I had one, and I don't know what happened to it. It just kind of blew up. Just a spark flew out of it, and so I had to get another one. So it's just the one and a half barrel little Conair. I'll put a link to it down below if you like it. The only thing I don't really love about this, and it's on, so I have to be careful, but this is the temperature here. So sometimes when you're using it, you, it, you barely touch it, and it changes temperature. So just keep that in mind if you like this one just keep an eye on your temperature so i have this one set on the 25. <laughs> it goes up to a 30 but anything lower than that i feel like it doesn't really curl as well but i have gone a little bit too hot and it almost singes your hair and that's a horrible smell so just use what you think is best for you so i'm gonna go ahead and start curling my hair okay so now i'm just gonna brush through it that's it. But I do have a little container of just random bobby pins. I have like, because I buy tons of them and then I can never find them. I'll just, they're just, I don't know. I lose them in the carpet. I lose them. They're just everywhere all over our apartment. But I have just a random little collection of them. So the reason that I have those is because when I curl my hair, I always pin it in place. And that way it gets to cool down and it holds the curl longer, which my hair holds curl pretty good because it's, already pretty curly but I just like to do that so that it can it can cool in the shape of the curl 
And y'all, I know that there's fancy ways of doing this where you don't do the ends and all that. Y'all, I don't mess with anything. <laughs> I just curl it. I just do whatever I want to do. I really don't follow those rules. You know where they leave the end like this much of it? So, I don't know. I don't know. I've tried that a few times. It ended up not looking right. So, I just stick with what I like. So I just usually just take that curl right back up. You'll be able to see this better when I get to the other side, to this part. So I'm gonna pretty much do this all over my entire head. To cool down so I'm just gonna do the front two sections and then I'm gonna start on my makeup so I'm sorry if my camera's shaking our one of our girls is up here she likes to she's nosy so I'm just gonna pull this piece down here now one thing about my hair that drives me crazy I have and I've talked about this before I have these fuzzy I know y'all can see that and so I don't know what to do with it because it's like it doesn't grow any longer than this for some reason and it is just it's and usually it stands straight out like if I have a long day at work and I'm tired <laughs> I'll get out of work and I'll take my face mask off and I've just got these big wings just standing straight out <laughs> it's horrible and I don't know why it does that I have no idea so I've tried I bought a little flat iron one of the little mini flat irons but it's just that's just a whole nother thing that I got to do just just for those little parts right there so I don't know I may just have to just accept it that I'm just going to have little wings so I did place an order with Ulta like I said I needed a few hair things and then I got some different makeup revolution stuff y'all know I love makeup revolution and they sent me they had this little promotion going if you bought so many pieces of makeup revolution they sent an eyeshadow palette for free so we're gonna try that today i looked at it but i haven't used it so you know that's just what we're gonna use today just to try something out i like to try new stuff and i have been hooked on this shein foundation i love it it is beautiful and it doesn't dry my skin out i was using the Makeup Revolution Foundation, even their hydrating formula still dried my skin out. I have very dry skin, um, mostly right here, and it, it's always been that way. So anything that hydrates but stays on, I am for it. I love it, and I have found that this Shein Foundation is it's amazing. It's the Skinfinite Hydrating Foundation. It is wonderful. So, if you have dry skin like me, you might want to give it a try. I think it's $9 a bottle. We're getting there, y'all. I got I got a lot of hair, so we're getting there. I'm pretty sure once I start editing this, I'm going to speed up a lot of the curling part just because it's not very interesting. <laughs> so, I've told people in the comments that I really don't do anything special, so this is probably going to be like the most boring hair tutorial ever <laughs> but y'all have wondered how i do my hair so this is how i do it but i'm really excited for filming today um i i'm just so excited so we have a whole valentine's collection it's a his and hers so it's going to be me and my husband in this video so it's going to be a lot of fun i'm not exactly sure how we're going to film it to where y'all can see everything and I don't know, we may film the trial part out on the porch just because it'll show all the details of everything. And with it being two of us, it's kind of hard to 
because I don't have a whole lot of room. So, you know, we just got to figure out how we're going to do it. And then I have a collection from MOTF that I'm going to be filming probably today. I'm going to try to try to do that today. But I usually try to spread stuff out just so I don't feel too much pressure because, you know, I think that that kind of stuff shows on videos when somebody's pushing themselves to do something. So I want to enjoy it and have fun with it. So I don't want to do too much, but it's my only day off in a, for a little while. So I gotta, I gotta do it. Y'all, you'd think I'd have muscles in my arms from doing this. <laughs> it's a workout doing this hair. I love this little curling iron. I, I don't know. I highly recommend it. I've put it in some of the comments when people have asked me about my hair. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with stuff. When I find something that works, it's not expensive. I want everybody to know about it. <laughs> but I did watch a tutorial somebody did on one of those Dyson things not long ago. And I, I didn't know they cost that much. And I was watching this tutorial and, you know, it looked really neat, you know. And then I looked it up and it was like $500. I mean, that's... I don't know. I, I couldn't, I can't see myself spending that kind of money. So I will take my little $16 Conair <laughs> any day. I think I might have it turned up a little bit too high though. Cause when I take it off, it's smoking a little bit. So now when I get to like this part, that's right in the front, I will use these little clips just because the bobby pins can leave little ridges sometimes. So I'll use these around the front of my hairline just because I don't want to get those little lines in my hair but and they do make a difference I just sometimes forget to use them so you know but they do really work I got those I think off shop miss a I got a pack of those off of there for like a dollar or something and so I picked up a few packs of them but they're just those little basically little pin curl clips with the little paddle thing on them And y'all, pinning your curls after while you're curling it is like the best way, especially if your hair doesn't hold curl. I know a lot of people have a lot of problems with that. Like they'll spend all that time curling it and then in no time at all, it's basically just like a little bit of wave or straight again. So this does help, help it hold its shape a little bit longer. I know some people just can't curl. Their hair just won't hold any curl. But if you wanna add a little bit of extra a bigger chance, I guess, of it staying curly. This is the best way to do it. Just let it cool all the way down before you take the pins out. And I think that will help a lot. This piece reminds me of Victory Rolls. Um, I have, I follow, I'll put um, her link to everything in here too, but I follow a pinup girl and she's just absolutely beautiful, but her name's Victory Violet. And I was looking through her pictures the other day and I found this one that was just gorgeous. So I've bought a few pieces to kind of try to do my version of that picture. So I'm waiting on it to come from Shein. So I got everything off Shein, the little flowers, I got a big hat, everything to try to recreate it. So I'm hoping, hoping that I can do it, do it some justice. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Make sure my cat's not in here so I can spray this. So I'm just going to spray it lightly all over and then we're just going to put on some makeup. really good but it's got argan oil in it and y'all know I love argan oil but this one is cruelty free vegan it's got plant proteins pretty much everything I really like this I like the smell of it so we'll see how it holds it's supposed to be more of a flexible hold so it won't be sticky or you know crunchy like I used to do so I think today I'm gonna do the Shein foundation it's the Skinfinite hydrating foundation and I have this one in the porcelain, but um, I'm going to use this one because it lasts a long time. So I don't think I'm going to have to retouch anything throughout the day because I have, like I said, I have a lot of filming to do today. But I don't think I'll have to do any touch-ups on this one. And I don't do primers. I've, I have a few of them. 
but I just don't, I don't know. I have a hydrating one from Shop Miss A that works really good, but I just don't really think about it. I don't, it doesn't, it never crosses my mind to use a primer. I think I'm gonna, I wanna try this. I just got this, it's the Makeup Revolution. It's a stick foundation, and I went with the F1 in this one. So I think I'm just gonna try a little bit under here just to see. We're just trying different stuff. I have no rhyme or reason to any of this. <laughs> I just hope it turns out pretty good, I hope. Let's just see. Cause I don't have a lot of dark circles, but I do have a lot of redness to my skin. Always have, probably always will. And sometimes that shows through and it looks like I'm blushing, but I'm not. It's just my, my skin is just really red right in here. And it's where I'm the most dry. And I'm gonna set it with this Wet n' Wild loose, this translucent loose powder. Growing up, I used to use the Cody, the one with the powder puff picture all over it. I do have a container. I don't buy it anymore because, you know, they're not cruelty free and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I pretty much have gotten rid of everything that is not cruelty free. I think everything is gone now that, that falls into that category, but now I'm trying to go more vegan cosmetics. So, cause there is a difference. You know, I'm just learning, I'm trying to figure this whole thing out, but I'm just now learning that just because something's cruelty free isn't the end all be all. So you gotta look for just certain things. From what I understand, like I said, this is a learning pro process. So, but I do everything that I own is cruelty free. So I don't have a whole lot on this brush. I just like to kinda set my makeup, but I don't wanna pack it on. I don't do baking and all of that. I just, my skin is too dry for that. So I don't really, I don't really do any of that stuff. So I think I'm gonna try out this eyeshadow palette first. Um, I don't really go in any specific order, but I really wanted to try this eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna do that first, I think, before I move on to anything else, just because if I mess it up, I'm not messing up my whole face. So here is what it looks like. Oh, there's my, there's me. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's the Revolution Glow Palette. So they sent it to me for free because I placed my order. So that was really nice. I thought that was kind of, I love Makeup Revolution. I really do. I've, I've liked them for a long time now. We used to talk about it at Sephora because they were known as like the copycat brand and we didn't sell this brand at Sephora. But then once I left there and I started seeing stuff about it, I started buying it. So <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of a fan now. I'm kind of hooked on it now. You know how it is. You don't like the competition wherever you are. This one is just like a deep burgundy. It's leaning more purple, which I have to be really careful with purple for some reason. It irritates my eyes really, really bad. But I think this this is more in the red family, I hope. So we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Probably just gonna do something a little bit more heavy because of the pieces that I'm gonna be showing in this Valentine's haul. They're a little bit more dramatic, so we're kinda planning on doing it like a like a, a Valentine's Day, like a casual look, kind of like a going out to the movies kind of look, a dinner look, and then a formal look. That's how, in my head, that's how it's going to go, but we'll see. I always smudge everything with my fingers. I don't know when I started that, but it's kind of become a thing that I do. I do it with my lipstick, too. I don't know why. I don't know where that started. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's so but I do, I notice it, and I, it's not even on purpose. I just, I just do. That's more of a bronzy, it's this color here. It's like a dark bronze brown. Kind of dusted on my face, but that happens. Anytime you have like any kind of metallic flecks in something, it's going to fall a little bit, but it's not too bad. And I've been using this. It is a highlighter. It's from Makeup Revolution too. As you can see, I have 
loved it a lot but I've been using it as an eyeshadow like the brighter eyeshadow right here so don't judge me I just I just use whatever I want to whatever feels right in the moment here I always like to use a pop of a lighter color right here I just think that's pretty For my eyebrows, like I said, I don't do a whole lot with them. I do have a lot of eyebrow pencils, but I have been using, and I don't need to find out what color this is, but I got this Urban Decay palette forever ago. I'm talking years I have had this, and I have been ignored. It's in pretty bad shape, but I have been using this color right here. The one that's dipped into pretty good. That one right here. I've been using that for my eyebrows for a very long time. So, I pretty much keep this palette because of that one color for my eyebrows. So, eventually, I'm going to run out and I'm going to have to find something else. I think that I'm going to do, I think I might use the Worthy the Label, the half lashes again. Um, I showed y'all those in my last Get Ready With Me. I love them. They are so easy to use and they're just quick. I just loved them. So I might use those today. And I'm just putting a little bit of blush up here. I saw a girl do this on, I don't even remember her name, but I saw a girl putting her blush on because I have been so bad about, I'll go and put it right there <laughs> and so I saw her put it on up here and it was so pretty so I tried it the other day and I really liked it so and that's what I'm just gonna do today because I thought it was really pretty I'm just gonna use this little cheapy black eyeliner and then I'm gonna do the worthy the label magnetic liner on the outside and I'm gonna use the half lashes they are a local they're a local company and I didn't know that until I started that video and a friend of mine, she sells their lashes. You know, she's one of their, I guess, affiliates or, and I had no idea that they were located here in Myrtle Beach. So it's a really good company, really good brand. I love these eyeliners there. So I have, I don't know how many of them. They're the Wet and Wild and they are the breakup proof ones and I get them at the Dollar Tree so every now and then it's like they'll have a whole bunch of them and I'll buy three or four or five of them but they're just little retractable pencils and I get the black. I love these eyeliners. I'm going to do this Worthy the Label Magnetic Liner on the outer corner. let that dry because you got to let it dry completely then do another coat of it and then you can put the lashes on so it doesn't take too long for it to dry but you know just make sure that it's dry in between we're just gonna go with the velvet lips from shop miss a the aoa one and i don't know what color this one is that's the only thing bad about their stuff is you when you have the little label that keeps it sealed it'll have the name of it the color on it but then once you take that off to open it, you don't know what color it is. So I would have to go back through my orders and see what color it is. I'm not really sure what it is. Okay, so I do, I really like those lip, I really like those lipsticks better. So I'm gonna put my other coat of the Magnetic Liner on really quick, and then we're gonna pop on the lashes. I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to put on some highlighter. So I had to buy another one of these. So my lid has broken off of this one and y'all can see I'm, I'm hitting pan right here in the middle, but there's so much of it left. So I've just been really careful about closing it back up when I put it away, just because I just, I love this. I love this highlighter so much. It's the Makeup Revolution, the Dare to Divulge. Actually, I think my cat might've dropped it in the floor, to be honest. But, you know, 
they like to sit in there in the bathroom with me when I'm getting ready for work and I think the big one might have knocked it off. I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat of mascara on before I put those lashes on. So you have three different ones in this set so I think I'm gonna go with I don't know I think I'll go with the first one because they're not quite as thick. But these are just, I tried one set that I got off of Amazon and they were really, really good. But these are like the easiest. I mean, you, you just pop them on and you are good to go. I mean, they're so, I love these things. So my hair is cool to the touch. So I'm going to go ahead and take these pins out and then we're just going to kind of work with it. As you can see it is really curly when you pin it and let it dry so this will stay in just the way that it is as long as I don't mess with it too much and I really try not to mess with it very much at all so mine will hold the curl pretty good but I just kind of want to but as you can see I love the curls like this I just they're easy I mean it looks like it probably looks like it takes a lot of time you know just what I've shown y'all today but it really doesn't. I mean, you could do it a lot faster when you're not, you know, you're not talking too much. But I just love this because, yes, it is heat on my hair, but I can go to bed with it wet and not have the heat from the drying it and then the curling it or the, you know, all those different processes. And I don't put any kind of product in it at all. I usually would just shampoo it. And my conditioner, I usually go from here to here. I don't really put a lot of conditioner up here just because I don't want it to weigh it down. And I really don't need that much conditioner. I just use a little bit of it. So that's all I do. I really don't usually brush through it. I will if I'm doing, like if I were to do like a vintage look, I would brush through it and then style it from there. But for this, I just usually just, you know, fluff it up with my hands and then I'm done. So this is usually what y'all see. But like I said, if it's summer, I might lose some of the curl a little bit just depending on the humidity here. But it'll pretty much stay like this long enough for me to take my pictures, do my thumbnail stuff and all that. But then once I start changing clothes on and off, it might just get a little bit, a little bit fuzzier. But this is pretty much it. So I hope that I didn't disappoint y'all with this video because <laughs> it's nothing elaborate, it's nothing grand, but it's something that everybody can do and not a lot of cost involved. So if you got a pack of bobby pins and a curling iron, you can do it. I hope that y'all like this video. I had fun putting it together and like I said, we have a lot of filming to do and I'm running out of time. So I got to close this out, but I will see y'all soon in my next video and y'all until then, Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon.